hello friends welcome back to the series of videos in which i am showing you the solution of chapter coordinate geometry standard 10 mathematics this is ncert textbook exercise solution let us see exercise 7.1 question number 6 name the type of quadrilateral formed if any points are given we wanted to give the name of the quadrilateral form by given points that is name the type of quadrilateral form if any by the following points and give reason for your answer so we wanted to show that question number one for it that is minus one minus two one zero minus one two minus three zero these are the coordinates given so first of all let us begin with assumption let this points will give the name of this point minus one minus two b that is one zero c that is minus 1 2 and d that is minus 3 0 these are the points we have assumed now first of all we'll find out all the different distances between a b b c c d and d a so we should get to know that what type of quadrilateral it is so first of all let us begin with a b we'll use distance formula for that you know the distance formula now i'll use it directly here you know that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so that is 1 i'll consider this is x2 y2 x1 y1 so i'll write it that is 1 minus minus 1 whole square plus this is 0 minus minus 2 0 minus into bracket minus 2 whole square so I can write it that is AB is equal to 1 minus minus will turns to plus. So I can write it 1 plus 1 whole square plus minus into minus will turns to plus that is 2 square. So I'll write it AB is equal to you can see 1 plus 1 is 2 square. 2 square will be equal to 4 plus 2 square will be equal to 4. So 4 plus 4 is equal to 8 and if you will take the under root of 8 then it is 2 root 2. How is it so? Then you know 4 2 is 8. The under root of 4 will be equal to 2 and another 2 will be remaining in the under root. So AB is equal to 2 root 2. Another thing we will find out the distance between BC. BC will be equal to again I will use the distance formula you can see this is B and C this point minus 1 minus this is 1 whole square plus again 2 minus this point that is 0 whole square let us find it out so BC is equal to minus 1 minus 1 will be equal to minus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 0 will be equal to 2 that is 2 square so bc is equal to you can see that is minus 2 square will be 4 plus 2 square will be equal to 4 therefore you can say that bc is also equal to 2 root 2 let us go for cd we'll use the same distance formula from this point cd we can write it minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square so i'll write it minus 3 minus minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square so i can write it cd will be equal to you can see minus minus will turns to plus so this is plus 1 and this is minus 3 minus 3 plus 1 will be equal to minus 2 whole square plus this is 0 minus 2 will be minus 2 whole square minus 2 square will be equal to plus 4 and this is minus 2 square will be equal to plus 4 so cd is also equal to 2 root 2 now let us go for ad ad the same formula will use it minus 3 minus 3 minus for this a point it is minus 1 
minus 3 minus minus 1. So I will keep it in the bracket. Whole square plus similar way 0 minus minus 2. That is whole square. 0 minus minus 2 whole square. So AD is equal to again this minus into minus will be turns to plus 1 minus 3 plus 1 will be equal to minus 2 whole square plus minus into minus turns to plus 2 square will be equal to you know we can write minus into minus will be plus 2 whole square even though it is a minus or plus the square of that will be positive only so minus 2 square will be equal to 4 and this 2 square is also equal to 4 so we got that ad is also equal to 4 plus 4 so we can write it 2 root 2 so you can see that ab is equal to 2 root 2 bc is equal to 2 root 2 cd is equal to 2 root 2 and ad is also equal to 2 root 2 so i can say that therefore i can say that ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to ad so in short we can say that this quadrilateral is of having all the sides are same measure now if we wanted to find it out that either it is a square or not we need to check the diagonals a b c d we got this equal to this equal to this equal to this so all the sides are of the equal measure so it is a equilateral triangle or equilateral quadrilateral but if we wanted to check whether it is a square or not we wanted to see its diagonals are of the equal measure or not so we'll first find out the measure of the diagonal so diagonal is ac and bd let us find out diagonals that is first of all i'll find out ac we'll keep the same distance formula ac you know the formula and we'll keep the value ac minus 1 minus minus 1 whole square plus this is 2 2 minus minus 2 whole square you can again check minus 1 as per the formula minus this is minus 1 whole square plus 2 minus is for the formula into bracket minus 2 whole square so i can find it out ac is equal to minus 1 minus minus will turns to plus 1 so this is minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus here you can see 2 minus minus will turns to plus 2 plus 2 whole square so ac is equal to that is this one minus 1 plus 1 0 it is 0 square plus 2 plus 2 4 square 4 square is equal to 2 sorry 4 square is equal to 16 and if you will take it even the under root then ac is equal to 4 we got that ac is equal to 4 similar way let us find out the other diagonal this is one of the diagonal we have find out other diagonal is bd we will keep the same distance formula d is equal to d the coordinate will be minus 3 minus for b it is 1 whole square now you know the formula so you can directly keep the value 0 minus 0 whole square so therefore bd is equal to you can see minus 3 minus 1 will be equal to minus 4 whole square plus 0 square minus 4 whole square will be equal to 16 bd is equal to under root of 16 and under root of 16 will be equal to 4 so bd is also equal to 4 so we got it that is ac is equal to bd so what do we got we got first that is ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to ad and right now we got diagonals ac is equal to bd therefore we can say that if the sides of the quadrilateral is of equal measure and diagonals are also equal then quadrilateral a b c d is a 
square if you really like this video then click on the like button and share with your friends as well as for further updates subscribe my channel thank you